After many years of teaching American Sign Language at Grandview, Miss Kim has decided to retire. Over the years, she has had many ups and downs, but she holds the good times closer to her heart. Um, I think the most fun that I have is when I see the light bulbs go off when all of a sudden a student, like, pow, they get it. And they start um, signing this most beautiful work. And also that they're falling in love with the language. She clearly has had many incredible experiences, but she has had some bad experiences as well. Um, I think the, the bad experiences or the hard experiences are those when, for some reason, kids just aren't getting it, and I don't feel like I can really connect to make them feel better about the language. So for me, I think that's the hardest part. And um, I also think with the ASL piece is when um, when we first started doing American Sign Language, there was a lot of students picking on the deaf students because they were signing with their hands and using them. And so they needed to be educated. And so it was a good thing, but it was a bad thing. There are so many different choices of subjects to teach out there. So what makes someone want to choose to teach ASL? I decided to teach ASL when I was going to college. I wanted to be a speech language pathologist and work with people who are deaf and hard of hearing. And so in order to do that, then I needed to um, learn sign language. When I got here to Grandview or Cherry Creek School District, it wasn't being taught. And so I was hired as a teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing. And there was no way for the kids to socialize with any of the other kids because they didn't, they couldn't speak. And the other kids didn't know sign language. So we just tried to merge two wor worlds and 24 years later, here we are. There are five different world language courses to offered to students. So why choose ASL? Uh, ASL seemed to be the best, the most fun, and the most I could learn from. My sister took it a while ago, and it sounded cool. Uh, my great-grandma is currently going deaf, so I wanted to learn ASL so I could be able to communicate with her as long as I possibly can. Another reason ASL could be beneficial later in life is because there are jobs where having the knowledge of ASL will be beneficial. I want to be an orthodontal assistant uh, when I graduate and I've heard that people can possibly come in as deaf patients and my aunt is an orthodontal assistant and she knows ASL so she can take a lot more um, clients than other people could. There are so many students coming to Grandview next year and they have to choose what world language to take. I would recommend it to upcoming students. Yes, I would. It's been a very fun year. We are all very sad that Miss Kim is leaving, but we are happy she decided to start teaching ASL and make so many great memories. This has been Andrew Seward for GVTV.